It says here, don't be a bum, wake up early and chase greatness, but don't be caught complaining. Dream so big it scares you, expect less and hope more, you'll be happier. Take risks, you don't have the answers, go find them. Love your mom, she didn't raise no bitch. You have one life, set the damn standard. Wow. Oh! What's going on, Daily Dose Wood Patients? Welcome back to another video with your boy, AKA, AKA J Dose, here at my gym in Long Beach, New York, Hollywood Fitness with my boy Bosco. Today we're gonna be hitting a C bum arm workout. We're gonna go through a couple different motions, a couple different movements. We're also gonna be trying out C bum's new energy drink. I am so excited about this. Just came out about a few weeks ago. I got it in this morning. We're gonna be taste testing that later on the video, so stay tuned. First, we're gonna get this big arm workout. Everybody's been asking me for some fitness content, so I'm giving it to you. I'm gonna show you how to grow your arms today. Let's get into it. What's up guys? We're starting out with a uh, overhead tricep extension here. We're doing moderate weight, nothing too crazy. Really focusing on the squeeze. You don't want to go all the way back too far because you're going to get too long of a stretch. You want to keep that tension on the muscles at all times. Keep it at a good 90 and then extending. Focus on the lock out here with the long head of the tricep. Really just get a good movement, loosen up and get ready for the rest of this workout. So, going to get after it. I like to put my butt back on the bar here. So I really isolate the arms. I'm not using any other body parts. See, everybody likes to do it differently. I like to isolate it like that. Gonna do a little reverse grip curl over here. I'm a big fan of hitting this one. It gets really more of your outside bicep and your forearms activated good. I like to do this one earlier in the workout. Real simple, normally I just try to keep a tight core. Real strict, focus on the squeeze on this. Try not to swing too much. A little bit of swing is okay, but don't use that momentum to pull the weight up. I like the straight one and I like putting the forearm grips on it. Nice and slow, feeling the burn, feeling the tension. I'm under tension. Oh yeah, I feel that in my forearms for sure. As JD said before, just about trying things different, doing things a little bit differently. And we're gonna hit the Spider-Man curls right now. Really focus on that squeeze again. Really focus on the negative going down. Let that muscle stretch out. Really get that blood moving in there. My toes in, trying to get all the focus on the blood going in my arms. Only trying to use my arms here. Holding a little bit at the top too. Feeling the pressure at the end there. Even if it's not the perfect rep, half rep, keep going. Get those two, three extra ones where you get the half reps or whatever. That's where you really get the burn, tear the muscles apart and grow. That one's good. It feels like you're working against gravity there. Pump cover, Hold. I like going lighter weight, controlling it, seeing how I'm doing it, and being conscious of the actual movement itself, knowing what muscles I'm hitting. We're about to hit a different variation of a tricep pull down right now. We're going to do more of just a pull down, traditional, nice and true. We did the overheads before as a warm up. Now we're going to go a little bit higher weight, a little bit higher rep. Key to when you pull on these, and when you're pulling down, you don't want to go up all the way, almost re racking the weights. You want to keep your arm here at a nice 90 degree angle. You don't want to just pull straight down, you want to pull wide. Bring it up to a 90 degree, back down to the extension. Really hold and focus on that squeeze of your long head. If you can't really focus on the squeeze, loosen up the weight a little bit, you're better off going lightweight with better form every single time. I go for a little bit more of a bent position and you're coming down here, you're squeezing, you're turning the wrists out. Like Sal said, you're not coming all the way back up here. You're coming about to the chest area. Wrists out, chest area. And you're in control, hold it. You're putting all the focus on that tricep. And then at the end when you're getting tired, you can bring your hands together like this. Just pump out those extra ones, quick ones. I like to go to failure. You're showing, yeah, come on. You could do that one, the first one like we just showed you, or you could change it up and do overhead like this. Changing up on the muscles a little bit, slightly. You gotta trick the muscles. So now we're going back to a little bicep movement right now. We're just on true bicep preach curl machine. Highly underrated machine here. Key point is when you're on this, you don't want to keep your shoulders rolled forward, especially if you're going to hit them isolated. You don't want to be pulling with your shoulder moving that. You really want to keep your core tight and your back in an inline position. You really want to focus on the pull up. When you're at the top, really focus on that squeeze and the negative going down slow. Another big thing is keep your elbows straight. A lot of people come here with their elbows flared out and they pull almost like this. It's not a hammer curl motion. You really want to focus on the pull 
with your bicep, keeping your elbows pointed downward. Notice I'm keeping my shoulders in position. They're not rolling at all. I'm not going forward with the weight and slowing the negative back down. Keeping those elbows pointed down, that's the biggest one. Everyone likes to point their elbows out and you're taking it away from your biceps. A little nip slip here in the stringer. I like to drive my elbows into the cushion, squeeze. We can't do it now, because Sal's holding the camera, but if you're working out with someone, have them assist you in the last couple of reps. You'll be able to go up and wait in the matter of weeks just by someone assisting you in those last reps. We're gonna go on to a little bit of a V-bar curl right now, a nice close grip. We're getting towards the end of the workout, so you just wanna burn off whatever he got left in this pump right now. The C-bump special right here. This is where the veins pop. This is where the muscles look bigger than they really are. You got all that blood rushing to your arms. All right, wrapping up the video here, trying out C-Bum's new energy drink. Can's pretty fire design. It's like a basic design. I like this color that he went with here for the orange sunrise. It says here, don't be a bum. Wake up early and chase greatness, but don't be caught complaining. Dream so big it scares you. Expect less and hope more. You'll be happier. Take risks. You don't have the answers. Go find them. Love your mom. She didn't raise no bitch. You have one life. Set the damn standard. Wow. Zero sugar, no artificial colors. One bum equals a 12 ounce of coffee. Now I watched this video when he first put this out. He was saying how he didn't want to put too much caffeine into this. He wanted to make it almost equivalent to having a coffee. He said that some of the other energy drinks out right now are loaded too much with caffeine and overdo it. Cheers, brother. Smells fire. Good. It's got a little fizz to it. As you can tell from prior prior videos that I've done, a lot of people now, once once you get a following, you could pretty much create any product that you want and just advertise the shit out of it. Nelk Boys with the Happy Dad, C Bum with this. And you see other people like Travis Scott do it where cacti kind of shit the bed, didn't really live up to the expectations. This is really good. It was honestly better than I thought it would have been. If you haven't already, like, follow, and subscribe. 100K subscribers by the end of 2023. Hit that subscribe button, do us a favor. Stay well, stay patient, don't be the animals. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working a lot. Mmm, so good and tasty.